Hello STO Club. Today you're going to uh, learn more about your calendar. Uh, calendar is one of your features that is uh, here in this Google bar here. It's just we haven't really used it very much. But if you click on Google Calendar here, you can set, um, uh, let's say, meetings. Let's say the STO meetings. We know they happen on Tuesdays, but you can actually schedule them here. For example, let's say you have a meeting, an STO meeting, um, let's say, uh, 24th which is a Tuesday you can just double click on it and you just type in STL meeting the dates are already there um, and then you can um, where let's say room 103 you can put a description if you want you don't have to you can color code it you can send yourself an email so that that way you remember that you have a meeting maybe um, every uh, let's say 30 minutes before the event or or you can change this to hours, let's say, or a day ahead. Let's say I want it just to be one day ahead to remind me one day before the meeting happens. And then it'll send you an email to yourself reminding you that you have a meeting. So I'm t telling you and teaching you about this because a lot of STOs are having trouble keeping organized with their homework, keeping organized with meetings and all these other things. So using the calendar that's already built into your drive and to your Google account is actually a great way to make sure you stay organized about homework you have. Use your homework agenda too, but with this, this can really help you see all your homework uh, days ahead. So let's say here's my STO meeting, and it's going to send me an email. You can even invite people to that meeting and anything you need to, um, if you want to do more things here. So this is a great way to stay organized. I want you to explore it um, as soon as this video is done. The other thing I want to introduce you to, the next thing I want to introduce you to is... Um, is here in your drive. So when you're on your Gmail, click on the drive button up here. Go to create. And you have these here, but you don't have these here. These are more apps that you can connect to your drive so that when you're using your drive, you can do different things. The most useful one I want you to explore today is called Video Notes. Since you don't have it here, you just click on connect more apps. And in the search bar, there are literally thousands of apps. Um, for now, just type in Video Notes and then you'll see that app pop up. I already uh, connected it. You connect it now. If you want to pause this video, you can do that, or you can um, do it window by window, side by side, so that you can do it as the video plays. It's up to you. Once it's installed, click on the Create button, and you'll see it here, Video Notes. And this is very useful for any teacher that uses YouTube videos. Or if you're watching something on YouTube, what happens or how it works really is that you can load a YouTube URL here. You type in the URL, which is this code right here, into the YouTube uh, video box here. And you can take notes. This actually connects with your Google Drive. See, I'm signed in right here. And it saves the notes automatically in your drive. Let me show you an example. So let's say a teacher, like myself, assigns you for my science class to watch a video on YouTube. So here's a video on YouTube. You can just watch it and write down notes, but also if you use video notes, you can actually keep yourself more organized and make you a more efficient STL. So um, sometimes teachers put videos on their blog that you have to watch. Maybe it's classwork, maybe it's homework. What you can do is cut the uh, URL from the video on YouTube. So let's say there's that video you're watching on uh, triangulation and earthquakes. Once you cut the URL, you can just close the YouTube page and then just post the here by clicking two fingers, paste, and then load video. What this does is going to load the YouTube video right here, it's right there, and you can be taking notes with it right here. So let's say the video is playing. Hello, students. Once the video is playing, while it's doing it live, you can be taking notes here. Mr. Luna started the video saying, and then you can say, and the cool thing about this is that it actually has like a timestamp, like exactly when it happened. Mr. Luna mentioned magnitude. And you can see that where here it says the timestamp 38 seconds, it matches it here. When you're all done with the video, 
you have your notes and then it matches to the time so if you're like oh man that was a long video that my teacher made me see in science or math or whatever class you can always go back to your notes and see it now what, it look, what does it look like in your drive let me show you in your drive without having to do anything here it says untitled notes you can retitle the video notes here if you want to change it you can say notes on magnitude And then when you're going back to your drive, so here's back my drive, the notes will be here. Mine still says untitled because that's what, uh, once the video started, it, can't, it won't change it. But if you do change it before the video starts, the notes will be there. So once you click on it, you can open it with video notes again. And even if you're at a different computer or it's a different day you're in, or a different class, you'll see the video pop up again and the notes that you've taken so you can study. So this will all be saved back over here, back into your drive. See how I renamed it a little earlier? I finally renamed it here. So this is just a way to stay a little bit organized so that you can take video notes, especially when you're watching a YouTube video. That way you don't have to write anything and you can always share it with your teacher uh, in whatever class that is. What I want you to do is actually take notes on this video. If you want to rewind it, because that was two ideas, and take video notes and then share it with me. That's how I'm giving you a grade today for advisory. Make sure you actually watch um, this video. Take some notes. Hey, Mr. Luna taught me about video notes today. Just about two to three sentences uh, in your notes, and then make sure you click on this arrow, and then you click on share, and then share with me, Mr. Luna Science at gmail.com. You can write my name in here and then make sure I can view it. All right. So that is the end of this video. If you don't share your video notes on this particular video, I'm going to have to give you a zero for today. If um, you're like, well, I didn't know how to do it. This was at the end. Just rewind it. I don't, I'm not asking for you more than three sentences. Three sentences is fine. So you can show me like, first, Mr. Luna taught me about this, about the calendar. This is what I learned about the calendar. And then I saw the video notes. So make sure that you kind of, uh, kind of try it out. That's the most important thing, and I'll give you a grade for trying it out. And that is the end of this video. Oh, real quick before I go, I did tell you about library books. I'm not going to go in-depth, but if you have your library card today, you can download the app Overdrive O, which is um, where you can download books from your library. I'm not going to go into details because you do have to have a library card. And some of you might have it on you today, some of you might not. But just download it. You can download it on the iPad. You can just go to Overdrive, look in the uh, the store, the App Store, Overdrive O. You can link it to the Los Angeles Public Library. You type in your library code number and you can read books. Explore it if you want. That is obviously optional. Next time I'll go over Google Books, which is a little bit easier, but not as much selection. They have a lot of new books here, like um, the uh, Hunger Games and everything. So that's why I think it's cool, because it's all free. Um, but And there's some audiobooks too. And they're new books. The problem is it's a little difficult, so explore it if you'd like. For the rest of advisory, just uh, make sure that you uh, read a book quietly, or you do any work for any other class that you have to do. But make sure you get this done first. Have a great day.